What's up, YouTube fam? Trying to give you guys another walk around. How the car sits as of today. I got a new GoPro, so I'm trying it out. Last video was on my iPhone. So I need to do a new one with this. So you guys can see you know, all the details a lot more clear. Not much has changed since the last video. Just want to go do an alignment with uh, Chew Works. Another one. Got the sticker up there now. Looks pretty dope. Team motoring license plate on the back. Shout out to them. Really good shop, highly recommend. All the stickers I have on the car, it pretty much you know represents something. It's not just there, you know, just to get the look. It's actually there because they've either helped me out in some way. And it's pretty much all step. All the people that helped me move forward with this car. Got another KT motoring right there. All right, so exterior-wise, front lip. You guys can tell I really like this front lip no complaints about it these are 2015 final edition evolution wheels they only came on a couple of uh, 2015s the FEs they're still end keys and in my opinion they look really nice I like the center caps especially the paint could be a little thicker in my opinion because this paint is really delicate I only cry with those wheels but compared to the gray ones they're, they're way more delicate I got the little center caps to match the uh, that's the center caps with the air caps the valve stem caps to match the center center caps on the FE wheels you know recently washed her waxed her and I think I figured out the the right combo that I'm gonna start using it's kind of hard when when you go to chemical guys they're like bombarding you with all kinds of products like each product backs each other up in a certain way so you're gonna need this to use that this for this so I, I just pretty much try to simplify it as best as I could I just got myself two waxes and that's pretty much all, all, all that I really need the two waxes I'm using from chem guys is a VO7 it's an orange um, it's an orange wax um, it's really good just by itself the only thing is when I take it to the car wash and wash it with the spot free because I spot free it on and spot free it off I notice that some of the wax ends up coming off so it's almost like you need a sealer or a sealant to seal in that wax so I ended up looking for another wax which was kind of like that and I ended up finding the banana wax at chem guys Banana wax is a miracle machine. That thing, I don't know if it's a combination of VO7 with, with the banana wax, but damn. Car beads like hell. You know, dirt, you can blow dirt off your paint. 
it just it makes it super slick like it's so slick you have to feel it you wash it and you just see all the dirt just drip right off it so that's the the waxes that i'm using on, on it right now works on windows i put it on the wheels i put it on the brembo calibers and yeah nothing but good things to say about it um ru still running the Pirelli p0s all season they're all season plus i mean they're decent i mean the car grips already as it is so i'm pretty sure the car complements the tire and the tire complements the car they are better setups out there but i'm not too i'm not too focused on getting the most grip out of this car just yet i uh, i'm cool with what i have now i just i need to i'm focused on other things at the moment you know just getting the car to drive as best as possible and the entire setup would be you know the very last touch the very last icing on the cake which the way it drives right now it feels really agile feels um it feels like you know it goes where i want it to go so that's the exterior i know i gave you guys like a few walk arounds got the ricaros going strong still actually learn how to stitch just so that I can do that right there because mine's was kind of looking like this in person it doesn't look that white the camera picks it up really good but that patch over there I did myself you know made a huge difference on the seat because that shit was an eyesore shift boot as you guys know I made one more adjustment to it. I recommend that you take your OEM piece, this one off your first shift boot and put it underneath and then put this one on top and it just keeps it tight. Look, I can't even move it up and down. So it's on there really tight. Buy yourself a 10, a 10 by 1.25 um, lug nut or a, or a hex bolt, whatever you want to call it, just to tighten it. Already got pedals, those are stock. Just showing you guys how it looks as of now. You know, this is something that I had to bring it back to this level. So kind of pre pretty proud of my work. seats I mean nothing too special nothing too crazy so I just rented a machine from um, Home Depot it's like the uh, furniture the furniture cleaning machine that they they rent to you, use that for a day.